Greetings, Wheezy Newsers. It's Monday, the day that I tell you about the things I'm doing, or the things I'm reading, or the things I'm thinking about, or the things I'm not thinking about. It'd be really weird to tell you something without thinking about it. That's, that's a talent I'm glad I don't have. So the video about quitting sugar for a month went up last Friday, and it went a little viral. It, uh, someone posted it on the front page, of, well, they posted it on Reddit, and then it made it to the front page. A uh, user named Manu underscore fe, Facere? Facere? I don't know, but thank you very much for posting it, and posting it, in, titling it well enough that it was intriguing, and it went to the front page, and then the video, lots of people saw the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feels really good after working on something for a while to have a lot of people see it. Now it's on to the next video. I said in my previous Monday video that I was going to maybe do Why Do People Like Trains? I've changed my mind. Although I will do that at some point. Probably won't be the next video. I think I want to do something that's more, um, that I guess more people would be interested in because I, I feel like it's not as universally, not everyone would care. And I think something that more people might be interested in and also keeping with the health theme of the previous video about sugar, I want to do why do people like exercise? I guess I'd probably put like a parenthesis besides health. So it would be people who legitimately like exercise, not just not just want to be healthy or have some specific goal. I feel like that's the thing you need to find if you want to be successful at exercising on a regular basis is you have to find something about it that you like besides just health because that's often not enough motivation. You, you can't just constantly motivate yourself. Oh, I hate this, but I have to do it. it in the long term, it probably won't work. Just like dieting. That's why people say that dieting is, is dumb because while you're doing the diet, it might work, but you, you gotta find habits that you can keep doing forever. I mean, I, I have several reasons why I like it, but maybe I'll save it for that video. Speaking of exercise, I asked you uh, for help with my, my Achilles tendon pain. I also got some pain in like my upper ankle, like right, like right here. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm wearing Ada socks. Socks with Ada's face on them. So I'm just taking a break from running right now because I want to fully heal. Some, some people gave some good suggestions for stretches or maybe finding something to wrap my foot with. Uh, I, I do have pretty new shoes and they're the brand that I've always been wearing. So I don't think it's the shoes specifically. Someone gave a great suggestion that I don't know why I, I haven't been doing. It's just go on longer walks. Go on walks for a while. Maybe that's a good thing to do in the meantime while I'm waiting for my legs to heal. It just takes longer if I want to have the same amount of calories burnt or cardio by walking. Um, but I could probably find some time and listen to a podcast or do some, do some brain thinking, you know what I'm saying? So think about the video that I'm gonna be making. So I could, it could be productive. By the way, I find that brain thinking is much more useful than butt thinking. So everybody just stop butt thinking, please. That's the moral of today's video. So the rest of today, I'm going to begin the brainstorming and maybe some of the writing of the next video. It's gonna be a little bit of a process just like the last one. I'm trying to do work longer on videos and make them real good so that someone posts them on Reddit and they go to the front page, right? And so that they're just, people find them useful and, and then I feel useful. That's the best. That makes me the happiest when I feel useful. Currently still reading the fifth season. I'm about to start reading Hank's book because I have an early copy of it. Hoo hoo hoo. And I've just started watching a little bit of the Great British Baking Show with my wife and I'm starting to get sucked into it. It's pretty it's pretty good. Not good if you wanna to try to quit sugar. I also wanna cut back on the amount of beers I drink. I always wanna cut back and sometimes I do cut back. But a uh, way that I wanna do it now is I'm thinking about getting uh, a soda stream and making sodas and then maybe a blender and like blending fruit and vegetables, making little, little interesting drinks that are non-alcoholic. I think that's part of the Drinking beer for me, it's not like, I don't think I'm addicted to alcohol or anything. It's just like, I feel, I crave something. I crave like some sort of something in, in the evening after dinner or something. And really beer or alcoholic drinks are the only things that really fill that void. Like soda, soda, soda pop doesn't do it. Plus I don't want all that sugar, but I'd like to drink something. Maybe I just need to replace it with something healthy and interesting just to reduce, just to be healthier, just to have more energy. I'm always trying to find ways to have more energy. I don't wanna just fall into some lazy pattern, which I tend to do sometimes and we all do. I think China's vacuuming something. Anyway, 
thank you. If you haven't seen my main channel video, go check it out. I'm very proud of it. And if you have, thank you for not leaving a mean comment on the video and clicking thumbs down if you didn't do those things. And I'll see you next Monday, unless you're a patron, and you can see these types of videos every weekday if you do the, the perk over there, the, the, the $5 perk. Bye! Sorry, I won't do, that was dumb. Goodbye.